go, 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 go. <laughs> You're a maniac. Look at this. I'm an exercise girl. Okay, that's what that is. Yeah, <laughs> that because you have this. All the exercise boys and girls have these bands. <laughs> yeah, we seen those around 30 years ago. Hi guys. Hello. <laughs> Welcome to this video of our morning routine for fat loss. Losing weight, it's not just a physical thing. It's here and it's here. Fight through it. You can do it. Don't give up. So the friends, Kyle and I do this every day for fat loss. We have found this routine the most successful to lose fat and to keep it off. So we're gonna walk you through exactly what we do. First, coffee. We switch it up all the time. Right now that we're using the McDonald's McCafe ground, we always set, we, we have a coffee maker with a timer to ensure your success. It's a lifesaver to get one with a timer. Also because what we're gonna tell you is that we do fasted cardio, which means we do it on an empty stomach. So when you wake up, you want your coffee ready because you're hungry. You don't have time to waste around making coffee. And just and make sure it's a black coffee. That, just that way there's no calories so you're still fasting. Yes. So you want to set yourself up for success, especially if you're busy. We specifically set aside 10 to 30 minutes every morning except for leg days. So we do fasted cardio five to six days a week depending on how many times we train legs. No cardio on leg day, every other time, this is the morning routine, done fasted. So you want your coffee, have your timer set for when you wake up, you come down, you drink your black cup of coffee. The coffee not only gives you that caffeine energy boost, it also makes you warm. You wanna be warm because you wanna sweat when you're doing your cardio. To help with that, you also put on a hoodie. And your yellow sweatband. Yeah, and your yellow sweatband. But also so. this is this is like we use the coffee like Nicole said in the hoodie for thermogenics. We like yeah. to get a sweat going. So you zip yourself up. You want to be warm. So I like to wear my hood because it makes me sweat more. Or if you don't have a hoodie, I wear a hat. Anything to keep the the heat in to your body and make you sweat. So 10 to 30 minutes moderate intensity generally you know hard to breathe but can still keep up conversation that kind of thing what what kyle and i do we do not do cardio on leg day because if you want to build muscle in your legs doing cardio on that day will not only burn it burns you out it also makes it harder to build muscle on your legs because doing too much cardio actually does not help you build muscle. You're gonna make your legs smaller and yes. tired for leg day, and if you're trying to build muscle on leg day, why would you, it's counterproductive. Yeah, you wanna do less cardio when you're trying to build muscle, which is why if we're training legs, we do not do cardio in but, the morning. However, just because we do less cardio, it doesn't mean it's not effective. We want it to be the most effective in the shortest amount of time. So you want to go down and show them what we do? Yeah. All right. So you may or may not know that Kyle and I have lost 130 pounds each. We did a lot of damage to our knees when we were really heavy. So I find that the recumbent bike is the most gentle on my knees, that and walking. But I get up really early in the morning and it's usually dark. So I prefer to stay at home rather than walk outside and the treadmill actually hurts my knees. So I do the bike. Yes, turn it on baby. And I don't do any um, levels of resistance because that also hurts my knees. So I like to get up to a speed of about 80, 81 RPMs. Come on, baby, <laughs> light your fire. So about there, and I like to stay there. And then sometimes I'll change it up. Sometimes I'll do 80 for a little bit. Then I'll slow a little bit slow. Then a little bit fast, kind of like a hit sort of thing. And I do it again, 10 to 30 minutes. Usually about, you know, 
20 most days, but I like to change it up, not do the same thing all the time because it keeps that, your body guessing. That's actually a very good tip. People always want the like blueprint or the plan or what exactly, what setting do you have on the bike? How many minutes exactly? Well, that's the point we're trying to make to you guys. The most effective for us in 130 pounds lost in over six years doing this Switching it up is Change. the secret. Yeah, you can't don't do the same thing every day So sometimes me and Nicole if it's nice, we will go out for a walk. Yep Sometimes Nicole will pedal very fast on here and put resistance in other days It'll just be a light, you know a light round of cardio But the important thing is you get your heart rate varied, you know up and down varies throughout the time frame that you're doing the cardio you get a little bit of sweat going and the fasted is very important because you can tap into the fat stores instead of using the food that you already ate in the day to do the cardio. Yeah, because anything that you ate has been gone overnight because you were fasting. So before you break the fast, you only have fat stores left. So your body will burn through those, like Kyle said, instead of food. So that's why, and some people, haven't noticed a difference. Kyle and I find fasted cardio the most effective for us. You can check it out and see what works best for you. If you are going to do cardio and weights, we found doing them close together or back to back, it tires you out. So doing them separate is the best. It's kind of like the counterproductive leg day cardio thing. Yes. You have to know what your goals are. And if you're putting your cardio and weights together, you're not building muscle you're just burn, you're just burning burning calories yes exactly so when i'm done my cardio then i go get my belly filled <laughs> <laughs> so so then after we eat <sighs> poke my eye out um i mean after cardio it's time to eat is it stuck oh <laughs> <sighs> that blasted thing okay <laughs> who are you skeletor I'm cool. Blasted. Who's, uh, who says that? The cool people in the world. Right. So, the friends. Uh-oh. Things are getting serious now. You gotta show your muscles. <laughs> so, okay. So, first thing I do, I always have my breakfast prepped. Because you're gonna be hungry after doing fasted cardio. You've drank, you've had your coffee, you've been up for like half an hour with no food. It's time to eat. I always want it ready. So this is a carrot cake protein pancake. If you guys want to see exactly how I made it, we just put out a breakfast prep video. Check it out. It shows you exactly how to make it. So I like to have carbs. I usually have, we don't track macros, but I aim for about 30 grams of carbs, which is like half a cup of steel cut oats or Two slices of Ezekiel bread. Ezekiel bread. <laughs> Can't say that word very well. An egg, a large egg, and two egg whites. So that's the base of that recipe yeah, there. Yeah, check out the recipe video. Go into detail on how we make that. I also like half a cup of fat-free Greek yogurt. About 10 raw unsalted nuts. And half a cup of berries. So I eat that along with two bottles of water. One of the bottles has half a lemon squeezed in it. We like the lemon for a detox. So I usually like to drink the lemon water as I eat my breakfast. Kyle drinks his lemon water before he eats his breakfast. It's just a choice. I prefer to do it together. So that's my morning routine for fat loss. Wow. <laughs> if you guys have any questions, leave them down yeah, below. Yeah, leave them down below. Kyle and I have lost 130 pounds each. This is our sixth year, so it took us about two years to lose the weight, so we've kept the weight off for four years. And this routine was developed a couple years ago, and it's continued ever since, and it works. So, that's it. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram, at the Colettes, because you'll see wacky stuff. Okay? Cool and wacky. Yep. Get over there. Now. All right. We will. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe or what? Or what? The Lemon of Doom. Uh oh. You squeeze it and it gets all sour. 
<laughs> Don't get it in your eye. Yes. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Bye, guys. Bye, guys.